First, I think 30 years ago, when I just graduated from universities, I heard America had a wonderful strategy. They outsource the manufactured job, service jobs. They outsource the manufacturer to Mexico and China. Outsource the service job to, to India. There's a book called The World is Flat. Tom right? Friedman, yeah. colleague at the New York Times. And I think it's a perfect strategy. You know that they, the Americans said, oh, we just want to control the IP, we just want to technology, we just want the brand to leave the, the, the lower end job for the world. Great strategy. Where the money coming, where the money go. Past 30 years, the American had 13 wars, spending $14.2 trillion. The money going there. What if they spend a part of that money on building up the infrastructure, helping the white cars, the, the white colors and blue colors? No matter how strategic good it is, you're supposed to spend money on your own people. Right? On the, not everybody can pass Harvard. Like me, we are not good at education, right? We should spend money on those people who are not good at schooling. And the other, that uh, globalization is a great stuff. It's, it's the USA, it's developed countries to teach us how to do globalization. I remember 2002 or one before China joined the WTO, everybody in China was worried. Me, I was worried. Because what if all the international com products come to China, destroy our industry, and we have to lose a job? So convince the China, after 20 years, then you guys are telling, say, this is a terrible thing. I believe globalization is good, but globalization need to be improved. This is Donald Trump, president-elect, want to solve it, the problems. That globalization, I think, should be inclusive globalization. In the past 30 years, the globalization was controlled by 60,000 big companies. A hundred years ago, globalization was controlled by several kings and emperors. What if next 30 years we can support 6 million business doing business across the board? What if in the next 30 years we can help support 20 million small business can do business across the board? So this is something which I believe globalization should be inclusive. In five years we have a review for our strategy. Now our strategy is always look at the 30 years and 10 years. Every strategic decisions we make we have to ask one question. Is this decision we made solve society problem? Because we believe the bigger social problem you solve, the more successful you are. So if we do if this, cannot solve any social problems, we don't do it. Second, is this project is going to be successful in 10 years? If it's, if it's going to be successful in 10 years, let's do it. If it's going to be successful in one year or one month, now more I would say, forget about it. Because why you can be successful in one year or one month? So we all have to put plan on. And five years ago, we had a big debate about 10 years later, 20 years, what are the things that China society and the world leave, want? So we say happiness and health. 2H strategy. So happiness and health. We believe Hollywood, you know, the movie industry, bring people happy. Today, nobody's happy. Rich people not happy, poor people not happy, you know? At least when I watch a movie, I feel happy about it, right? <laughs> so I think we should partner with the Hollywood, especially like a lot of, uh, uh, you know, we have a different uh, way of living um, in China. The movie, we have a lot of heroes, but China movies, heroes always dead. <laughs> the American movie hero never die. <laughs> if all the heroes die, who want to be the hero? So my movie, I want to make the hero live, <laughs> right? So this is, this is, I think we should learn a lot. And um, it's only about two years. So we have another eight years to go. I want to make our company that it's, it's not e-commerce. It's something that giving people inspirations, giving people, because I learn a lot. For example, I, I will say that my favorite movie, Forrest Gump. You know, life is tough. This is I learned, and that inspired me. 
That is why when people call me crazy, stupid in the past 70 years, you're crazy, you're doing something that never work. You're stupid, how can you do that model? Amazon this model, eBay this model, why Alibaba this model? I told myself, Forrester Gump said, go ahead. Never care about what the other people. And the other thing, Forrester Gump said, nobody make money out of the catching whales. People make money by catching shrimps. So we serve small business. Fair enough. Every day is uncertain. The only certain day was yesterday. I'm not sure about that in the future I can I would dictate, I would be stupid. That's why I should retire early when I'm young. That is why I have a lot of things that I dream I want to do. I want to do philanthropy, I want to be a teacher, I want to go back to school, I want to do the environment. And the world is so wonderful. Why should it be the sea of Alibaba all the time? I'm, I'm coming to this world not to work. I want to come to this world to enjoy my life. I don't want to die in my office. I want to die on the beaches. <laughs> it's a wonderful message.